everybody. Hope you're enjoying yourself wherever you may be and that you have much to celebrate as the school year ends, graduations, vacations, and hopefully relaxation. You're with VibeFortBend.com, your broadcast home for Fort Bend County High School Sports. I'm Roger Smith, and this is edition number one of our first Tyron Auto Last Look Back series, a retrospective on some of the very best of Fort Bend County sports in the year 2022-2023. Today, it's Marshall High School, and the Buffs had very special seasons in football, boys basketball, and track and field. We'll be back and get things started with the Buffs head football coach and boys campus athletic coordinator, James Williams, on VibeFortBend.com. First class service. First Tire and Automotive. Don't miss these first class specials at First Tire and Automotive during the month of May. Get those new tires before starting your summer trips. Buy three and get one tire free on Michelin, BF Goodrich, and Uniroyal with installation, road hazard, and alignment. Check out the website, firsttireandauto.com, for details and restrictions. Remember to book your appointment, too. Get to one of First Tire and Automotive's four convenient locations in Sugarland and Cinco Ranch. Firsttireandauto.com. Archer Volkswagen Showroom is open, and our team's excited to help you. Visit our sales department Monday through Saturday from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Or bring your car in for service from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Friday, and Saturdays from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. We're closed on Sundays to rest and recharge with our families, so we can serve you well through the week. We hope to see you soon. Welcome, everybody, to the very first of our end-of-the-year wrap-ups on the programs in Fort Bend ISD, who did so well. But here at Marshall High School, there's really three programs that we, we couldn't leave any of them out. We're talking about football, boys basketball, and boys track and field. So uh, let's talk with James Williams first. He is the boys campus athletic coordinator and put a really good football team on the field and uh, coach, you know, we exchanged some texts during the season. I'm always trying to encourage you. I'm telling you how excited that I am about your games. And, and then if you don't win the last game, I just, I don't know what to say. So I don't send you a text and I figure you don't want to, I'm sorry. You didn't win text, but uh, talk about just the challenge. It's it's a beautiful, although sometimes painful challenge to win a state championship. Well, first of all, Roger, thank you for having me on. It's always a pleasure. Uh, but yeah, it, it's uh, wow. It's, it's very, very difficult and very few get the privilege of doing it. Um, we've been fortunate to play for two state championship here. Unfortunately, you know, uh, we came on the, on, the, on the downside of it, but um, you know, the pluses of having a program that works so hard and expectations are so high, you know, making it to the fourth round isn't good enough. You know, we, it is a disappointment. We had a great year this year, played a lot of good teams, had some great victories. But, you know, that when the senior class has that goal of winning the state championship, it, it is difficult to swallow. It's difficult. I mean, even today, you still think about the, the game and what happened and what could have been different or should have been different. But, you know, I always appreciate your encouragement and, and, and appreciate the support of our community and our school because uh, we have some great kids here, great programs and great kids. And one day we're going to get it done and absolutely one sweet day and i i hope to be there and uh i want to uh tell you about a quote i read in football digest from john madden back before his name was on a video game he had not yet won a super bowl and he said something i think is great wisdom he says so many teams are trying to be the last one standing and if you came up a little bit short but you've got into the last two or the last four or the last eight it doesn't mean you're not worth a bucket of warm spit. I remember that was his actual quote, so he kept it pretty clean. But um, let's talk about uh, the best things about the Buffs back during the 2022 football season. Uh, we had an incredible senior class. You know, the, it was a joy to coach these young men all the way through, you know, freshmen through seniors. Um, great character kids, number one, first and foremost. And, um, you know, they, they worked hard. They, they set that bar high and uh, they went and did the best they could to go get it. Um, one thing I love about these young men is academically they were very strong. This is probably one of my strongest senior classes I've, I've had since I've been here in the 14 years I've been here. 
And, um, you know, they, they were a very good, well-rounded class. And that's why we're fortunate to have so many going to the college level and have opportunity to play on the next level because they took care of academics, they took care of grades. And then, you know, of course, they had success on the football field. So it always starts with my senior class. They had, it was a really, really great group. Uh, and they stepped up and we replaced some guys for the previous year. And, you know, the previous year actually was another disappointment. We went out in the first round the previous year. Uh, uh, and that, you know, that was just a, a horrible off season for us. It was really a down year because, you know, expectations are so much higher, but these guys took that, um, that challenge and they, they, they stepped up to the plate. And, um, I know revenge, some coaches say is not always the best motivator, but PNG is in your district. So you will get a chance to play them again. And I'm thinking about taking a road trip to their stadium. I've never been there before, but I think that would be a great, rematch to witness and to broadcast and um, uh, I was also going to make a comment on what you said about the academics it is hard enough to be a coach in the competitive world of Texas high school football when you're worried about some ineligibilities but when your leaders and your best players are constantly coming through academically and you don't have to worry about them uh, having to sit out that's great it makes a big difference I mean it just shows your focus I mean I, I literally saw a quote uh, a few days ago that said, uh, I was talking about, you know, average players, good players and great players. And the thing about great players is they are great. Um, they're great in the classroom, on the field, in the community. They're great all around, not just uh, on the football field. And that's what we want. We want to build well-rounded people uh, who are going to grow up to be successful husbands and fathers and, uh, you know, be successful in, in our community. So uh, when you have a class like that, which this class was, it just definitely makes it better. And you stick your chest out a little bit more as a coach because you're proud of these guys and what they're doing. We're talking with James Williams, Marshall head football coach. We'll take a quick break and come back and talk about his really good problem, and that is that his list of guys that are coming out of Marshall this year and playing college football next year is so long he may not be able to recall all of their names off the top of his head. We'll be right back. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. I'm talking, of course, about Xfinity. Now, Houston won't like me saying this, but this is bigger than the moon landing. You didn't hear it from me, though. <laughs> oh, we heard you, Neil. You did? Yeah, we hear everything, Neil. We should talk when you get back. Yes, this is that big. Now through June 25th, new customers can switch to Xfinity Internet and get one line of unlimited intro mobile and Wi-Fi equipment free for two years. You heard that right, free for two years. It's all included for just $50 a month with a two-year price guarantee and no annual contract. Now that is one giant leap for mankind. Don't wait. Get it all with Xfinity, home of the Xfinity 10G network. Go to Xfinity.com, call 1-800-XFINITY, or visit a store today. Restrictions apply. Requires paperless plan and auto pay with stored bank account. After promo, regular rate supply. Xfinity Mobile requires Xfinity Internet. Actual speeds vary. First class service. First Tire and Automotive. Don't miss these first class specials at First Tire and Automotive during the month of May. Get those new tires before starting your summer trips. Buy three and get one tire free on Michelin, BF Goodrich, and Uniroyal with installation, road hazard, and alignment. Check out the website firsttireandauto.com for details and restrictions. Remember to book your appointment too. Get to one of First Tire and Automotive's four convenient locations in Sugarland and Cinco Ranch. Firsttireandauto.com. A baker's dozen. I believe that's how many players that Marshall football is going to send into the college ranks in the upcoming school year. And James Williams, head coach of the Buffs, let's talk about your boys who have gotten that opportunity, earned that opportunity at the next level. Uh, sure. You know, we have, a, a, again, a, a very solid, very good senior group. I'm very proud of those guys and what they've accomplished, and I'm excited to see what's going to happen next year. Uh, we have some guys going to some really great programs. Uh, I started with Zach Chapman. He's going to TCU, you know, obviously just playing for national championship. He has the opportunity to go in that program and, and hopefully get to another one, so he's he's I'm excited about him going there. But Jacoby Banks, our uh, our team leader last year was, was Jacoby Banks, and uh, he's actually already at the University of Houston. He enrolled early in January and went through uh, off season with them in spring football. And coaches are very, very impressed with him and, and, and expect him to play a lot next year. So uh, that's that's going to happen. Um, Trent Thomas uh, is going to Baylor. Defensive uh, lineman is going to Baylor and, and another outstanding program there. And Jordan Sample, Arkansas State, and 
uh, Anthony Chapman, a great offensive lineman, very academically strong young man, is going to uh, uh, Johnson C. Smith University in North Carolina, which is ex very exciting. Again, it's not always have to be the big name schools that you're proud of. You're proud of these guys for going on and, and continuing their goals and, and their careers. But um, Michael Patterson is another young man going to uh, University of Houston. Uh, he was an uh, unfortunate story with him his senior year. He tore his ACL the second game of the year, and he was a major, major piece to our, our puzzle, and he was a, a major uh, uh, contributor on the track as well, and unfortunately, he lost both of those seasons, so, um, but, you know, again, he's recovered, and he's going to be fine going to year of age, and Jaija Wortham's going to Angelo State, and Logan Granville, very proud of Logan, he's going to go to Incarnate Ward uh, in San Antonio, and Elijah Sims, uh, Abilene Christian, and Jerron Wallace, and Kai Guillory, and B. Sean Mitchell uh, going to Texas A&M Kingsville, so a pretty good group, and I won't forget Jordan Davis, uh, he's going to go and play uh, quarterback at, at TSU. So hope I didn't miss anybody, but it's a pretty good group there. <laughs> yeah, so I, I heard Angelo State. I lived in San Angelo for seven and a half years. I went to Abilene Christian. I am uh, I love everything Houston, so Houston Cougars, I'm glad to hear you have a couple of guys going there. And uh, let's talk about um, Jacoby Banks. I believe he won the FAB Award yes. among the many great players in Fort Bend ISD. He was the the guy that won the highest football award that there is in the district. Yeah, th that's that's one. Um, as an early at, at an early age, at seventh grade is when we first uh, met Jacoby, and we knew right away he was special. He's a leader. Uh, he's a natural leader. He's an alpha dog, and so he was always excited to be a Marshall Buff. Uh, and right across the street in our feeder program at Missouri City Middle School, he did great things there. And he came here academically uh, in the school building, in the community, uh, at his church, you know, obviously on the football field. I mean, he was an example the whole time and uh, very proud of him and his family. And absolutely, he has a year of age. Uh, he's, he was offered many scholarships but chose to stay home, stay close to home, and, and go to uh, year of age. And uh, he's going to be great. And also, his first year, the Cougars are in the Big 12. I'm so excited because I'm old enough to remember when the South West Conference elitists would not let the Cougars in. But when they finally did, the Cougars won the conference three of the first four years and won two Cotton Bowls. Yes, that's really big for uh, U of H going to the Big 12, and that's big for uh, Houston. I mean, that's another uh, Power 5 school in Houston, and uh, I'm excited to see what happens there. They're going to have some good games this year. I think they're playing University of Texas here at home this year, so mm -hmm. it's going to be fun. It's going to be good, and uh, hopefully a lot of great things happen for the, the, the school. All right, Coach Williams, anything that you want to tell us as we kind of close the book on the 2022-2023 school year? Anything else that you want to say before we – move over to the gym and talk to Coach Courtney. Well, I'm just very proud of, of what uh, not only football, but um, the other sports have accomplished. You know, a lot of people focus on football and track and basketball, but we have such great kids here, and uh, our in-block culture is very strong, and I'm, I'm, I'm happy for all the kids and seniors, especially graduating this year and other programs that are up and coming. Some of them you're going to hear about next year are really close to, to, uh, to doing great things. And so um, – just so proud to be a buff. I'm so proud to be part of M Block and, and work with our administration and our coaches and our community that uh, I'm just proud. And, and a lot of great things and uh, are going to continue to come. You know, our, I said, boys just won a state championship uh, again this year, and it's more coming. So hopefully we can keep that going and, and, and get one in, in football very, very soon. I want to thank you for your time, for helping me get all these interviews lined up. But also, I've said this before, for staying because there are a lot of coaches that have accomplished what you've accomplished that might be looking, well, where else can I go for a bigger paycheck or whatever? But I'm just uh, very thankful. We're all blessed that you're still here leading it. Thank you. Proud to be here. Love being a buff and I'm excited to be here for many more years. All right. And we'll be back and we'll talk with Coach Courtney. He's got three state championships. Wow. <laughs> it's uh, That's greatness right there. Okay, we'll be right back on VipeFortBend.com. Hello, I'm Gary Horn with Horn Solutions. We agree with energy analysts that the energy market has stabilized. We anticipate significant merger and acquisition activity. Good resources are scarce. Horn Solutions is positioned to assist you in accounting, finance, IT, and supply chain. Our staff can assist you with outsourcing, or we can supply you with resources to join your staff. Visit hornsolutions.net for details.
Gary Horn is a highly successful businessman who has made a huge impact in people's lives, and he loves what he does for a living. That's a big reason why Gary Horn and Horn Solutions support Get a Great Gig. Get a Great Gig is a free job search consultation service that will help you find a job you love, whether it's to make more money or get personal fulfillment in the career of your choice. Email them at getagreatgig at gmail.com or on Twitter at getgreatgigs. First Tire and Automotive has been putting your health and your car safety first for over 20 years. First Tire and Automotive stands for family, integrity, reliability, service, and trust. That's why Fort Bend families know. Take your vehicle to First Tire and Automotive first and forever. Check out the website for service and savings at firsttireandauto.com. Make your appointment today. With four great locations, Eldridge, First Colony, Greatwood, and now in Cinco Ranch, there is one around the corner from you. All four stores is now open on Saturday. FirstTireAndAuto.com. All right, welcome back to Marshall High School, and you hear squeaking and bouncing on the basketball court. And it's the month of May, so they're not getting ready for a district game. But the boys who made Marshall have such a great team this year, and the ones that'll be coming up from the sub varsity ranks. They're out there on the court while Ronnie Courtney watches the legendary coach, Coach Courtney. Uh, what would you say, first of all, to sum up the season that you just had where you you really competed for a state championship, but you couldn't quite get there? I thought it was a successful season for us, even though we fell short of the goal. Um, the kids competed well. Um, we played extremely well throughout the whole year. And, you know, somebody's got to win and somebody's got to lose. And, you know, just that we didn't want to have to lose, but I'm really, really proud of those guys. Well, I know you are, and I know you're also proud of Jalen Lowe. This may be the last time I ask you about him until he might get into the NBA. We'll see if you're still coaching at that point. But uh, uh, one more time, talk about his contributions because he was a very special, maybe once in a decade or longer player for you. His contributions are... I don't even know how to put it in words other than it's second to none. Uh, he came here very shy, very quiet as a sophomore. And every year he, he was here from the sophomore year to the senior, he got extremely better. Uh, this year he was by far my best player. I want to say he's probably the best player in the city of Houston. But, you know, he's going to be sorely missed. You can't replace him. But you kind of kind of figure out how to play without him. And that's going to be one of the things we got to learn how to do this upcoming season. But as far as missing him, He's going to be missed tremendously by me as well as the, the program. Well, I know it's all subjective about who's the best in such a large group of players, but he did get the Guy V. Lewis Award. So when you get that, you know, there are a lot of smart people voting on that. So now let's talk about retirement, which you're not doing. Okay, but I always have to check with coaches because I just found out that Clinton Welch, Ridge Point's baseball coach, I didn't know this. He He's kept it a secret, but he's retiring, and Michael Dutka, his assistant, is taking over. And you told me before we started doing this interview that you're not retiring because you got too many good guys coming back. So talk about who you have that will make it an exciting year in 2024. Well, I think people may not know or may know. I have 10 returners, um, three starters, and uh, we're going to be extremely good again. Uh, Chris Ketches will probably be my go-to guy this year because he's been playing extremely well throughout the summer. And um, he's made some uh, huge strides uh, throughout the time he's been playing since the season's over with. Uh, but having 10 guys back, it makes it kind of easy for you as far as what you have to teach and how much you have to teach. And the camaraderie that we'll have, uh, the, the, it's just the whole thing that has to come back with having 10 players coming back to understand exactly what you want to get done and how to get it done. And speaking of what you want to get done, those are state championships, and you have had three of them, correct? Correct. All right. So I know that's just so many of today's kids don't, it doesn't, they don't really look at history that much, but when they know that their coach has achieved what they want to achieve as the ultimate team goal, it's got to give them greater confidence. And can you just, I know that, you won three, but there are probably other times when you fought so hard for it and didn't get the the grand prize. So can you describe just how hard it is to win a state championship in basketball in Texas? Well, it, it, it's, it's a situation where you have to have everybody on the same page 
almost every game, especially when the playoffs start. Uh, you can't have a bad shooting night, which we experienced that this year. But in order to win a state championship, you really have to have everything lined up for you. And your kids have to play well throughout the whole stretch of playoffs, which is you got to win seven to win it all. And if you can play well for seven ball games, you're going to win a state championship. And that's very, very difficult because you've got to rely on so many moving parts. Uh, just not five guys is more than five you got to depend on. So depending on seven, eight, nine guys to get it done for you and make sure they're all on the same page, that's very, very difficult in the sport of any sport. And so for us to be able to do it here, we got to be able to put our – Egos aside, and put our feelings aside, and play as a unit. And I think I got a group of guys that can do that. And you mentioned the number seven. That's how many opponents you have to overcome to get all the way to a state championship. And my number is 127, and that is the number of teams that go home sad after their final game. Because in most sports, football is an, ex an exception. But most sports, there are 128 teams in the bracket, and that's just overwhelming if you think about it too much. Correct. And, you know, you look at yourself in a bracket, you can't position yourself where you want to be, but because you always want to win and you know there are guys that can say well i should have finished second maybe i would have got to stay no because when you're in region three which is probably the toughest region in texas uh you have to pay some people to get out of here so uh to get out of texas get out of houston i'm sorry it, it, it says a lot for you because you're in region three which is the toughest region and if you can do that you stand a chance to win a state championship all right coach courtney it's been great talking to you several times during the season that ended a few weeks ago and I wish you the very best coming up next year and I hope that I get to join you and watch your team win game after game and hopefully if uh, these guys fulfill their potential they'll they'll go beyond the end of the season and, and maybe do something that'll that we'll remember forever. Well, I've enjoyed being a part of your program your, your, your uh, interviews and they've all been so fun to have and you've been such a great guy as far as doing your interviews and I look forward to doing more with you next year and Hopefully we will, I don't know if we're going to surpass this year, but that's the goal is to surpass this year. But uh, in any event, we're going to play hard, play well, and, and play the game the way it's supposed to be played, and hopefully we'll win it. All right, that's Ronnie Courtney. Always a pleasure. We'll be back with Coach Lloyd Banks, who put another skin on the wall this year. You're listening to VipeFortBend.com. Next Level Urgent Care supports Fort Bend County sports and supports you whenever you're hurting. Next Level is here for the community. Open seven days a week, nine till nine, for you and your family at more than 30 Greater Houston locations, including Sugarland, Sienna, Greatwood, Longmeadow, and four in Katy. From Owl to Wow, Next Level Urgent Care has you covered. And if you're short on time, Next Level has an app to get you in line right away. Just text NLUCAPP to 313131 for Next Level Urgent Care. <laughs> Before we talk with Coach Lloyd Banks about the glorious year for Marshall track and field, we want to talk with the guy that Coach Courtney mentioned a few moments ago, Chris Catchings, going to be a very important part of the team when Marshall puts its boys basketball team on the floor in 2024. So, Chris, talk about your vision for next year. First of all, uh, what it is that you do well and what you think this group that's going to be the varsity team next year do well as a group. Yeah, well, me personally, I think I add some competitiveness and just being able to, to, to do everything on the floor. I think that's a big thing, especially, especially when we're talking about what we do here at Marshall. And as far as the group goes, I think everybody just competes. Like we have a whole bunch of competitors. Everybody wants to win, uh, especially the people who were with us last year who saw what happened. We're definitely coming back with a chip on our shoulder. And as far as goals, I think with the team we have, we can definitely get where we were last year or not or, but even further than that. The goal is always to come back and be better than you were last year. Coach Courtney says that a lot. So going into next season, we're just looking to definitely make a run. And speaking of Coach Courtney, I mean, there's not just him, but so many coaches in Fort Bend ISD that that know so much. I feel kind of like I'm just faking it every time I broadcast a game to make it sound like I know what I'm talking about. But uh, I know about upside. You look at a player and think, you know, how much, you know, he's, he's helping already, but if he can 
you know, take his physical gifts and and make the most of them. And I think about the six ten guy out there. So talk about it's Johnson, right? Yeah, Mark. He man, he's a beast. He's strong. He looks strong, but he's stronger than he looks. Well, that means he's real strong. Yeah, he's um he's gonna be a really big piece of what we do too. This last year, he came kind of late, so he had to kind of get in the groove of what we were doing. And uh, but he picked everything up pretty fast. So this next year, I'm really looking forward to playing with them the whole year instead of just a little bit. I played on this work basketball team, and we had this guy who's a former college linebacker, kind of a kind of a galoot, you know. Uh, and he said, "I have a role on this team, and I know what it is." And I've got five hard fouls to give. <laughs> yeah, but like the that. thing about Johnson, he's got skills. Yeah. Plus, when he does need to give a hard foul, yeah, he can do that, and it has a an impact. A couple practices, I got a couple hard fouls. So I know how that feels. Run to a couple screens. I have to take a break for a couple minutes. But, yeah, he's, he's big. And he's also kind of an enforcer, you know. It's yeah, just yeah. if uh, one of the guys on the other team wants to get up in your face, he'll put an end to it. Yeah, he adds a presence to this team that I don't think we would have without him. So he's, besides basketball, like you said, he's just it's a presence to him. He's an enforcer. He's, he's a good guy to have on your team. You definitely don't want him on the other team. And finally, uh, did anybody give Jalen's little brother a hard time last year? And now that Jalen is... Moving on to the next level, and the best of luck to him at the University of Pittsburgh. Is his little brother going to have less crap to deal with from his teammates? Well, before I answer the second part to your question, the first part, you said, did anybody give Jalen's little brother like any any fits? Jalen gave his little brother the fits the whole season. But um, when you have an older brother like that who's going to play at a high level, D1 school, you really have to listen to what he says. Even though I know it's hard because it's your big brother who grew up with him. You have to listen to him because he knows what he's talking about. But, yeah, Ian, I'm looking forward to playing another season with him. He's a a really good leader just like his brother. He's a good point guard. He gets everybody involved, but he's quick so he can get to his shots too. But he's a good player. All right, Chris Catchings, I want to tell you, you are a good interviewee. So, uh, you know, there, that's, that's going to be important, hopefully. I mean, if your career takes you as far as you want it to, you know, people are going to be sticking microphones and recording devices in your face. So uh, you're good at it and keep working at it. Thank you. All right, we'll be back. Now we're going to come back with Coach Banks after this break from First Hiring Automotive. First Class Service. First Tire and Automotive. Don't miss these first-class specials at First Tire and Automotive during the month of May. Get those new tires before starting your summer trips. Buy three and get one tire free on Michelin, BF Goodrich, and Uniroyal with installation, road hazard, and alignment. Check out the website, firsttireandauto.com, for details and restrictions. Remember to book your appointment, too. Get to one of First Tire and Automotive's four convenient locations in Sugarland and Cinco Ranch. Firsttireandauto.com. Hey, Fort Bend County fans, this is Bradley Stavenal with Neville Insurance Agency. Bradley is my insurance man. He can save you hundreds, if not thousands of dollars every year on your car insurance, home insurance, or flood insurance, or all three like he did for me. And Bradley, you are as Fort Bend County as they come, right? That's right. Fourth generation here in the Neville area in Fort Bend County, uh, taking care of folks over here for over 100 years here in uh, Fort Bend County. You can give him a call, you can go online, or he'll even come see you at the Needville Insurance Agency. Give him the number, Bradley. 979-793-7411. All right, welcome back to our year in review of Marshall Buffs Athletics, and it was a great year and many programs, and it's just so hard to win a state championship. The football team and basketball team made good runs at it, but came up a little bit short, and yet the track and field team not only won, but they won for the sixth time in a row, and Lloyd Banks is the guy who runs the boys' track and field program here at Marshall. And, Coach, what is it that keeps this team so successful year in and year out? Um, I like to believe it's the the culture set by the individuals that came before and the ones present. Um, Everybody understands pretty Everybody understands the expectations, and um, you know we would work our butt off. You know, uh, it's just a culture and um, of hard work, and uh, the kids adapted to it, and and we embrace it, and and they just get it done. 
You know, one thing that I've noticed across Texas, you know, whatever part of Texas you're in, the general model for being the administrator of athletics is the head football coach is usually the campus coordinator, if not just for the boys programs and sometimes for the boys and the girls across the campus. I've seen that in many different parts of the state. And sometimes there's a little bit of butting heads between football and other sports, but I perceive that at Marshall, it's not that way. There's a perfect marriage of track and field as well as football. And do you agree with that? And can you kind of explain how it works so well here? Absolutely. Um, again, you know, first off, um, you know, we do a good job as coaches. We understand we're one of the smallest 5A schools in the state of Texas. And you're going to have to share athletes. It just is what it is. Um, and just communication. Um, about, you know, when and where, you know, certain things need to get cut off or turned on or whatever the case may be. Um, but we haven't had a problem with that. You know, Coach Williams does a great job of letting me actually coach track and not play track. You know, some some track coaches have their issues with their head football coaches. We don't have that here. Like I said, it's a perfect marriage. Um, you know, but we push um, for our, our, our linemen, skilled kids, and everybody to participate in track and field. I'm not going to do anything but help them out. Um, we start talking about uh, things – uh, outside of the football realm, um, mental toughness and other things you have to have to run and do track to do to do track and field, and um, it just works well. You know, it just works well. Uh, it, it benefits everyone on campus. So you know, we push it. Uh, we all we talk about it. You know, we want to see what it, what it's supposed to look like, and um, you know, we get it done. You know, the best of leaders, at least what I I think happens is if you do your job best as a leader, the people that you're leading will say, we did it ourselves. Whether it's someone who is maybe a leader among the athletes or if it's a coach of all the athletes. But uh, let's enable you to talk about yourself a little bit. So you got six straight, but you have some other skins on the wall. So give me your resume, all the things that you have accomplished as a track and field coach? Well, it's been, it's been a couple of things. Um, well, it's not actually six straight. It's six on the boys' side, and we have two on the girls' side. Um, two years ago, I took over as the director of track and field um, over both boys and girls. Uh, brought along uh, Coach Hire EMY, to lead over our girls, and we kind of do that together. Um, so we have eight championships in Marshall. I have nine total, and I got one as an assistant at Westbury in 10. Um, we've done we've done a lot of <laughs> major things. We have the number two uh, all time um, four by one that we we set this year. We won thirty nine eighty. These young and actually three of the young men that ran on and be back next year. So I think we'll, we'll make we'll make a nice run at it again. Um, also have the number two time also no number three excuse me number three all time time in the four by two also and that team at one twenty three thirty eight. That was with um. Devon A. Chain and a couple of other characters, uh, Corey King and Stubberfield and Devon Campbell. So we've had some success here. Uh, it's been a, been, a, been a great run. Um, none of us want to see, see it in. So that kind of, that's kind of the motivation also. You know, you, you don't want to be the group to see it in, to see it in. So everybody keep pushing, working their butts off, and um, and just, again, just trying to, just trying to um, you know, keep pushing along the, the culture, you know, what we do here. All right, so before I talk to some of your boys, I want to uh, ask you, do you think it's it's fair for me to ask you right now in May of 2023, will we be talking about another state boys track and field championship, perhaps another girls track and field championship in May of 2024? Always the aim. You know, we never know what's going to happen. You can, you, can, you, can plan a, you, can, you can plan a pretty picnic. But you never know what's going to happen weatherwise, you know. So um, that's always going to be the mindset, you know. Once we get, get up and moving around, the mindset is to be in a position to win state championship in May, um, and we're going to push to it. You just never know. It's Texas, you know. Somebody, people crawl out of anywhere and, and make a name for themselves and get it done. So our biggest thing is just like we always talk about, just us, just worrying about what we have on the table, executing, doing what we're supposed to do. If we do that, we totally believe that. During, during May, we'll be in the mix for it. All right. That's Lloyd Banks, track and field coach at Marshall. And I'm going to tell you to enjoy your summer, but I know you don't take the whole summer off because if you did, then you wouldn't have so many state championships. Exactly. Exactly. Now, it'll, it'll stop. We'll take about two weeks. We to relax. Maybe one week, try to vacate somewhere. But we're, we're back at it, though. So, And, uh, you know, we wouldn't have it anyway. 
You know. All right. We're going to talk to the sprinters when we come back on VibeFortBend.com. By the way, hope you enjoy your summer, but stick around and we'll hear from some of the guys that helped bring that big trophy home when they went to Austin just a couple of weeks ago. We'll be right back. Archer Volkswagen showroom is open and our team's excited to help you. Visit our sales department Monday through Saturday from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Or bring your car in for service from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Friday and Saturdays from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. We're closed on Sundays to rest and recharge with our families so we can serve you well through the week. We hope to see you soon. First Tire and Automotive has been putting your health and your car safety first for over 20 years. First Tire and Automotive stands for family, integrity, reliability, service, and trust. That's why Fort Bend families know, take your vehicle to First Tire and Automotive first and forever. Check out the website for service and savings at firsttireandauto.com. Make your appointment today. With four great locations, Eldridge, First Colony, Greatwood, and now in Cinco Ranch, there is one around the corner from you. All four stores is now open on Saturday. FirstTireAndAuto.com. We're back on our look at Marshall Track and Field, another state championship for the Buffs on the boys' side. And, you know, when you're at a track and field meet, the relays are what get you the biggest points. So let's talk with Will Mitchell. You run the third leg on the 4 by 100 meter relay. So uh, which is the most important leg? Third leg, most definitely, because that's when everything evens out. You see who's the real dog on the relay team or the real dog in that race. And dog has a lot of different contexts. In this case, context means dog is good. Yes, sir. Yeah. Dog means good. <laughs> that means grimy, gritty, whether to do anything just to win. Or protect your home or whatever. Yeah, I, I get it. There are other contexts where dog wouldn't be good, you know, but – uh what made you fall in love with track and about how old were you when you decided you really wanted to run at the highest levels of competition? Uh, it had to be my freshman year when I really realized that I kind of do have track speed, not just football, and how it could be another uh, another outlet for me to get to college for free and not have to pay for anything. And your classification going into next year? Uh, 2024. Yeah. All right. So class of 2024. And... Uh, Let's also talk to Devin Wilkerson. So you run the second leg of the 4x100 and the 4x200. And um, you also going to be a senior next year? Yes, sir. Thank All right. You. Be sure you talk loud. Remember, we got some old grandpas out there in the audience. So uh, talk about your development in track. Has it always been track and something else? Uh you know, what are all the sports that you do now and which one did you fall in love with first? Right now, I only do track, and I used to do football, um, but I kind of got more into track like this year. So that's really yeah. You got it. Either of you have any siblings, girl or boy, who are uh, younger than you, and maybe might be might even be better than you. Nobody. No, no siblings. Okay, tell us about yours, Will. Uh, I have a a younger sibling named Dylan Mitchell. Right now, he's currently the number one ranked 2028 kid in track. He runs 10, 9, 8 in the 100. And I kind of have to accept that he actually is going to be better than me, sadly. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, if he doesn't, I mean, at the same time, if he doesn't end up better than me, I didn't do my job. So I'm just happy to see him succeed and shine in his own little way. Well, that's good. See, you're maturing. You're getting where you understand that at some point you'll be irrelevant. I know Coach Banks has gray in his beard, but I'm a lot older than him. And, uh, you know, people don't even notice when I walk in a room anymore. So uh, uh, anything else that you want to say, Devin? I didn't really give you as much chance to talk. But uh, what do you think is going to be in the future for Marshall Buffs track come next season? I can see some school records getting broken. Um, another state title. And meet them with more people. Yeah, that's really it. And let me ask you this. Is there competition, you know, within the program where, you know, you know, sometimes let's say on a football team, you might know who your starters are. But then there are other times when you go into August workouts and you don't really know who the starters should be and you have brutal competition. Is it the same way to get into these relay teams? Um, yeah, we – I say – we really kind of really focus on ourselves and really just don't worry about the competition. We just go out there and run. 
All right. Thank you very much to both of you, and congratulations, and uh, hope we're having a conversation like this next year to talk about how you did such a great job again and, and brought all the glory home to Buffalo Run. And we'll be back with a couple of your teammates, Nolan Ritchie and Cameron Williams, when we continue on VipeFortBend.com. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. I'm talking, of course, about Xfinity. Now, Houston won't like me saying this, but this is bigger than the moon landing. You didn't hear from me, though. <laughs> oh, we heard you, Neil. You did? Yeah, we hear everything, Neil. We should talk when you get back. Yes, this is that big. Now through June 25th, new customers can switch to Xfinity Internet and get one line of unlimited intro mobile and Wi-Fi equipment free for two years. You heard that right, free for two years. It's all included for just $50 a month with a two-year price guarantee and no annual contract. Now that is one giant leap for mankind. Don't wait. Get it all with Xfinity, home of the Xfinity 10G network. Go to Xfinity.com, call 1-800-XFINITY, or visit a store today. Restrictions apply. Requires paperless plan and auto pay with stored bank account. After promo, regular rate supply. Xfinity Mobile requires Xfinity Internet. Actual speeds vary. Welcome back. And you know, this is going to be the last segment of this particular show about Marshall track and field and, and about Marshall athletics in general. But uh, I guess you, we heard from someone earlier, Will Mitchell, the third leg on the 4x100, said that the third leg is the most important, but maybe maybe it's the last one. So we got Nolan Ritchie. You run the four the, the fourth leg on the 4x400. Four so congratulations to you on the performance at State. What's it like running the 400, and are you more of a man if you run the 400 than just the 100? Uh, personally, <laughs> I believe that if you run a 400, you are more of a man. Mm -hmm. That That's a different type of race. You have to be able to focus and continue to just be locked in throughout the whole race from the beginning to the end. The 100 is a very quick race. It does take a lot more technique and – I would say focus as well, but it's quick. It's over. Ten seconds. Yeah. Okay, so on the 400, I want to ask you, uh, what age were you the first time you ran a 400 meters competitively, and uh, were you able to give maximum effort the whole time, or did you have to pace yourself when you were at a young age? Um, I ran my first 400 uh, in seventh grade. I'm not sure how old I was. I want to say maybe 14. Um and at first, I just didn't like it. I couldn't run the 400. I couldn't. I couldn't. But that same year, uh, in the 14, 15 age group, uh, my team went to JOs, and I ran. I split a 49.3. I'm on anchor leg uh, in South in North Carolina. And at that point, I knew like I, this is the 400. I can run it. All right. And I know that uh, at some point you get where you can give that maximum effort, go all the way around the track, and you don't have to hold anything back. But uh, that's what happens as you grow and you realize, wow, I can do things athletically that I never knew I could do. Cameron Williams, congratulations. So uh, your team brought home the gold and, and talk about your role and your development as a track and field athlete. Uh, my role is just get to the finish line. That's, true. that's all. <laughs> is there any particular event that you kind of wish you were in, but but uh, Coach Banks has not assigned you to it? Anything like that? I just said a 200. That's my race. Yeah, he pulled me out and said, I'm not ready. So hit the 4x1 and 4x4. Well, I'm going to tell you something. Um, you're probably going to laugh at it. This is, you know, I feel like I maxed out. I ran one year of track when I was done with football and. Um, I didn't make the finals in my district meet in the 200, but I did run a 23.1. Thank you for not laughing. Well, wait a minute. Um, Nolan laughed. Shame on you. Anyway, um, what was uh, what was your best time in the 200? I realize you may not have the the competition behind you that really pushes you to do your best, but what's the best you've ever done that you know of? My best time was a 21 flat. Yeah. yeah, see, that's uh, more than two seconds better than me, but I was just doing the best I could. It was way back when, you know, during the Carter administration. Jimmy Carter. That was a long time ago. So uh, let's talk about your future. Uh, do you think that you're going to be running track and field uh, when you get in the college ranks? Yeah. Um, I really didn't like track at first. So, uh, well, 
Yes. Uh, well, I didn't ask either of you, are you multi-sport or strictly track and field? Strictly track and field. Okay. How about you, Nolan? I'm strictly track and field. Okay. So um, if you were to play another sport, what would it be? Football. Yeah, football. And, and do you ever get any uh, – does Coach Williams ever come over and say, you know, I don't see any reason why you shouldn't be playing football. Does he ever say that? Uh, he just sit back. Uh, they make <laughs> well, I asked the other guys about, you know, siblings. You got anybody younger in your family who's coming up that is likely to go to Marshall, or are you the youngest ones? Yeah, I got a sister. She's trying to run track. I said, it's, it's, it's a fight. You got to gotta work. got to go on. So the key word is trying. She's trying to run track. But, uh, you know, you got to – you have no idea how hard it is until you really get uh, all the way into it. Yes, sir. All right, so Nolan, any um, any tips that you might have if there's someone out there listening who's younger and thinking about track and field, uh, anything that you want to give them a heads up about? What is great about it? What is toughest about it? Um, I would just say if you're thinking about running track and field, do it. Track and field builds a, a beautiful discipline within one, and I believe that if you run track and field, whether it's just to train, to get faster, or to compete, it would definitely help you along in life. All right. And I know I hear things like um, they'll say swimming is a lifetime sport. And that's true. I guess swimming's a lot easier on your, your joints and your body. You don't take the pounding that you do when you run. But still, to me, there's just nothing like running. You know, I'm getting to a point in my life where my doctor's saying you can't run anymore. Mm -hmm. You got to get on the bike. It's just not the same. And I, I hate not being able to run. But, oh, well, you know. Just uh, if you find a supplement to keep the arthritis away, then then go ahead and do that. OK, boys. Yes, sir. And uh, someday after I'm dead and gone, you'll be happy that I told you that. OK, so uh, we saved the best for last. You were the last pair of guests. Thanks for being with us on VikeFortBend.com. Thank you for having us. All right. Thank you. All right. We'll be back to wrap it up and we'll continue on VikeFortBend.com. Don't forget, we'll start everything up again in August with football and volleyball. But uh, we didn't want to send you off into the summer without recognizing some of the best accomplishments that uh, that happened in Fort Bend ISD this year. And that especially is Marshall Buffs track and field. We'll be right back. Next Level Urgent Care supports Fort Bend County sports and supports you whenever you're hurting. Next Level is here for the community. Open seven days a week, nine till nine, for you and your family at more than 30 Greater Houston locations, including Sugarland, Sienna, Greatwood, Longmeadow, and four in Katy. From Ow to Wow, Next Level Urgent Care has you covered. And if you're short on time, Next Level has an app to get you in line right away. Just text NLUCAPP to 313131 for Next Level Urgent Care. First class service. First Tire and Automotive. Don't miss these first class specials at First Tire and Automotive during the month of May. Get those new tires before starting your summer trips. Buy three and get one tire free on Michelin, BF Goodrich, and Uniroyal with installation, road hazard, and alignment. Check out the website firsttireandauto.com for details and restrictions. Remember to book your appointment too. Get to one of First Tire and Automotive's four convenient locations in Sugarland and Cinco Ranch. Firsttireandauto.com. <laughs> That wraps it up for part one of our first Tire and Auto Last Look Back series. And keep coming back to VikeFortBend.com for great stories from Kempner, Clements, and Ridgepoint as the Last Look Back series continues. And until then, goodbye and God bless from VikeFortBend.com. <laughs>